Okay, this was a hard week. And I normally like to keep these videos a little bit on the shorter side, like around five minutes so that they're easily consumable. But just a heads up, this one might be like around seven minutes or so, because I want to um, illustrate for you compassion in action this week through my own experience. So for those of you who haven't been following, and why not? <laughs> I am doing 52 weeks of compassion for the year 2020 uh, via this book, A Year of Living with More Compassion, and this is week six. So this was a hard week. Um, a few really difficult things happened, uh, one of them being a speeding ticket. Ew. First time I ever sped in my whole life. Yeah, no. Okay, so I just freaking got caught, okay? So $165 fine, and 30 minutes later, another hard thing happened, and what did I start doing but cry? I started crying. Now, historically, oh, by the way, <clears throat> one's limit shows up in different, it's manifest in different ways. So like, I cry, other people might like throw shit, you might get angry at somebody, road rage or something, I don't know. Um, however it shows up, you know what your limit is, right? So I start crying. Now, historically, I would have said, girl, put your big girl panties on. You're adulting now. You've got this. You got to rub some dirt on it, you know, and like tried to keep going. This time I said, girl, yeah, I just cry, just cry because all the things, all the things happening right now blow and you can cry. So what ended up happening is I felt better in about 10 minutes, 10 minutes of crying. I was like, ah, oh, okay, I'm cool. It's different. I have to say than you know, suddenly you're like Eeyore, why does everything happen to me? No, it's not that. It's like, this blows, I'm giving you a hug, and then I'm letting the hard feelings go. I'm just letting them go. I'm letting them exist. Feeling the feels, I'm letting the feelings exist, and then I'm letting them go. And then what ends up happen, what ends up happening and what ended up happening was that I softened first toward myself, and then I was able to soften toward my perceived, you know, people that were annoying. <laughs> like the cop. And even if he was a jerk, which he was not, I was able to soften toward him. The school district that I was pissed at, I was able, able to soften toward them. And just thinking globally here, because that's how I like to think, imagine, oh, Here's a hard exercise for you. Imagine your least favorite politician. Yeah. What does that do inside you right now? Your least favorite politician. Imagine softening toward them. Do you think that if every person were to soften toward their enemy or somebody that they really cannot stand, that we might be a united country again, or united world, I think globally. Go big. Uh, the answer is yes, by the way. I'm gonna answer that for you. <laughs> the answer is yes, right? Be the change you wish to see in the world. So it starts with us, all right? Now this week's quote happens to be right in line with this experience, this compassion in action this easier way of moving through a hard moment, through the hard feels, right? Uh, this quote was chosen by a um, yoga instructor by the name of Amy Weintraub, and it's a quote by Swami Kripalwananda. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, actually, I read this and I still get a little, I get a little choked up actually. So the quote is, my beloved child, Break your heart no longer. Each time that you judge yourself, you break your own heart. How moving is that, right? 
Each time that you judge yourself, you break your own heart. So I really, really encourage you to pick up this book because the, the um, writings by Amy Weintraub are so beautiful. So I encourage you to pick this book up to read the entire thing. But I'll, as I have done in previous videos, I'll read just a little snippet. So um, she talks about her own inner critic and um, that her nickname for herself was, her name is Amy Weintraub. Her nickname for herself was Amy Shamey. Uh, she says, shame wasn't just a thought or belief. It wasn't just an emotion. It was a part of my physical being, a daily visceral experience that whooshed through my body, bringing waves of heat, a feeling of humiliation, and with it, grief. Now, I resonate with this so much. I haven't felt that terrible about myself in a long time, but during the fertility struggles that we had, holy cow, I was all about shame of not being able to conceive and my body not doing what I wanted it to do. And what I love that Amy does here for this exercise for this week is taking it down to the body. So <clears throat> really expressing love to the body. And um, I'm gonna uh, give you a version of the exercise that she does here because the, she has two parts of her exercise for this week and I it's just a little bit too extensive for this video. Again, I really encourage you to pick up the book so that you can get the whole gist. I'm also gonna put the whole gist in the blog post when I post this video. Um, but I'm gonna give you a version of part two of the exercise, which she calls, Be Still Beloved and know that you are safely held. And I just so love this because we're able to, again, take it down to the very physical plane, which is tangible and something that we can, it's, it's not so um, esoteric or abstract as our thoughts are and our feelings can be sometimes. So um, how I like to look at this exercise is a body scan. If you've never done a body scan before, basically, you're lying down and uh, and systematically tensing and then relaxing muscles in your body beginning with your toes. So what you'll do is the exact same thing, but instead of just tightening and releasing each muscle, each body part, you will in tandem say, be still. Let's say you're working on your toes. Be still beloved toes and know that you are safely held. Be still, beloved shins, and know that you are safely held. Be still, beloved knees, and know that you are safely held. Now notice what happens when you come upon a body part that you don't like. Notice what happens. Because you'll feel uh, an intensity or wrongness. And I encourage you to slow down and be with that a little bit longer and to send love to that body part that you don't like. Okay, that is the practice for this week. I really hope that this series and um, everything that we're talking about in this video series has been helpful to you and that you'll notice a moment like I had this week where you were able to soften to your own inner critic, to your own um, difficult moments. I don't wanna call them weak moments at all because they're not, they are the opposite. They are moments of strength and resilience. And I encourage you to pay attention to those and send yourself some love. You can start at the level of the body. All right, I'll see you next week.